You are listening to the Paul Drachton Radio uh, Program. This is Paul Drachton. I'm your host. We have a special guest tonight, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Senator Nancy Schaefer's uh, mysterious uh, murder-suicide. And we'll go ahead and uh, get right to it. I'm going to let our guest introduce himself and tell us a little bit about himself. Hello? Hello? Yes. How are you? You're on the air. This is Dan Gonzalez. Good. How are you? Good, Dan. So, Dan, let's talk a little bit about uh, Senator Schaefer. Uh, you and I spoke a bit on the on the phone. Tell, can you tell people uh, what your role is and uh, how you uh, know her so well and some of the things that uh, uh, we talked about? Well, I actually wish I would have known her better than what I do. I uh, did have the opportunity to, but I first contacted, um, and I'd be happy to do that, by the way. I first contacted Nancy Schaefer. Uh, I'm the uh, chairman of the Constitution Party of Florida. You're and, the chairman uh, of the Constitution Party of Florida. Okay. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. I have a, I, I have a uh, as you may know, uh, an Internet TV program called American Politics 101 on TV. And so what I do is I, uh, like you, I, you know, I want to investigate things that are happening in our country and, uh, uh, you know, crimes being committed by our government or, or unjust uh, uh, laws that are being implemented, things of that nature, violations of our rights. So I uh, received, as the, as the chairman of the Constitution Party, I received many phone calls down here in Florida uh, from very uh, distraught parents who had had their children taken from them by CPS, Child Protective Services. Uh, and, and, and by the way, I'm just using CPS as a general term because in different states they're named different things. Right. You know, but basically that's what it encompasses, the child protective services within the state. Uh, might, might, be better just to, might be better to kind of talk about what they do. Well, <laughs> they're supposed to protect children. Uh, mm -hmm. But what they really do, uh, and, and there probably are some cases where they do protect some children, but what's been what's been occurring is that uh, these parents were calling me and telling me how uh, their children were kidnapped from them by CPS. Hmm. Uh, and I have to tell you that um, at first I thought to myself, you know, this this can't be real. I mean, you know, th these people are probably drug addicts or drunks or uh, you know, uh, you know, there's so many people that don't take care of their children. We see it all the time, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I just didn't believe it, really. But I kept receiving these phone calls. And finally, I received a phone call from, from a gentleman in Pinellas County. Um, and I had another friend that I had also uh, worked with uh, in protesting the Nancy Schiavo murder down in Pinell over in Pinellas County. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, everyone knows you know, how they starved her and, and hydrated her to death, and they wouldn't even do that to an animal. It would be illegal. But... I met another woman there uh, who was an activist uh, through, and, and we were all there, you know, talking and praying and, and trying to get the police to uh, to uh, actually quit protecting, allowing, you know, uh, allowing uh, Terry Schiavo to be murdered. And we would, you know, talk to them, and they said, well, you know, we're, we're just doing our job. And we said, don't you know that's not an excuse? I mean, don't you remember the Nuremberg trials? And these police mm -hmm. would look at us like, what's the Nuremberg trials? They didn't even know what the Nuremberg trials were. Uh, That's crazy. It was shocking. It, it's so well, you know, it's, it's interesting you bring that up because, you know, I think in terms, we just I just wrote about this, and that's the uh, uh, basically the Nazis' uh, implementation of, uh, you know, their uh, where they went in and they murdered uh, retarded children, individuals that were disabled, blind yeah. individuals, individuals that had epilepsy, uh, senior citizens that were no longer to, able to work. I'm sorry, go ahead. Right. No, that, that's right. It was called, it was all under the guise of eugenics, by the way. And by the mm -hmm. way, that eugenics, um, uh, Hitler got his idea for the master race and eugenics uh, through Social the Darwinism. American eugenics, through the American eugenics uh, so, uh, organizations. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting. Uh, Edwin Black, a very famous author, wrote a book called War Against the Weak. And um, it's a great book of you, uh, uh, for any of your audience who have never read anything concerning eugenics and genetics. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to get that book and read it. It's called War Against the Weak. But what we did was I, I started to hear other people talking about this, and, and this 
woman's name was um, uh, Marty Fernandez, and, and she was telling me how her daughter had been taken from her by the courts. And so, you know, I knew her to be a sincere person, so I started to, to warm up to the idea that maybe there was some, you know, there was some uh, injustice being uh, done here. Well, I received a phone call from a gentleman named Greg, and uh, I'll tell you, it broke my heart. When, he, when he, the government, CPS, came in and kidnapped three of his children from him and his wife, three daughters, okay, mm -hmm. took them away, and then, of course, uh, and what they did was they put them in foster care homes, took them from their parents, put them in foster care homes, and we're talking about the, the CPS will take these children from you if you have, for the most absurd reasons, like dirty dishes in the sink, or if you're homeschooling your children, or if you're, you're teaching them too much religion. I mean, they really actually use these excuses. That's here's crazy. The, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They have complete immunity and complete police power. They can come in even without a judge's order. They can come into your home, and they can steal your children without a police order, and they can use the police to do it. The sheriffs will, of course, you know, they listen, they, they back them up. So, of course, when they come to your door, they usually have sheriffs there with you, and, of course, they have guns on, so you're afraid that, you know, gee, here's the, here's the police, they have guns, what are you going to do? And they come in and they say, we're your children, we have a report that, that you hit your child and we're taking your children from you. They don't have to give you, they don't have to do anything to be accountable to anyone. Can you, I mean, we saw, we saw, situ Dan, we saw a situation like this in Utah where the parents just picked up and they moved out of state. I mean, would you advise people to do that in Florida? Oh, you mean move out of Florida? Yeah, just leave. If, if you have any inclination at all that they're coming in to, uh, with that kind of a thing, just Oh, are you get kidding me? Well, you know, you know, I'm not going to say what other people should do. I'm right. not going to say that because um, uh, already, I, I, I'm sure I'm already in the crosshairs. Uh, because of, of how I'm trying to, you know, I had a, a young woman on my uh, program the other day uh, by the name of Sheridan who uh, worked real closely with Nancy and was also a victim herself and of uh, mm -hmm. CPS uh, kidnapping her child. And, you mm -hmm. know, CPS actually, she, the, how this all started with her was that she went, she took her daughter to the hospital because her daughter was crying and she was having problems. Took her mm -hmm. daughter to the hospital and the doctor said, um, uh, Sheridan, um, your daughter has been, uh, been raped. And she's like, what? Oh she's like, gosh. your daughter has been raped. And she said, you're out of your mind. And, and so they took her out of that hospital and went to another hospital. And the next doctor said the same thing. Your daughter has been, has been uh, sexually molested and raped. Wow. And, and, the, and the daughter and her daughter said that her dad did it. And, and so Sheridan, of course, didn't want to believe this, but... She couldn't ignore two doctors telling you the same thing. So then Dan, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a break. Uh, Dan, uh, the question I've got for you at this point is, okay, so you've got this gr little girl that was raped? Yeah. And she was raped is what it sounds like. Right. Sheridan's daughter was uh, raped by her father, yes. Hmm. Which would be Sheridan's husband, ex-husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go and, ahead. Uh, and uh, what what occurred was um, so apparently uh, what she did was what Sharon did was she called the authorities, of course, and reported it, and they came after her and said, "Well, you're a bad mother." And she said, "What are you talking about?" They said, "Well, you're you're the one that allowed this to happen, and um, there's no proof that it was the father." So they took the little girl away, the, the one daughter that was raped, and gave her to the father. Oh, and gosh. This is, this is quite often what happens in CPS, is that they take the, uh, the accuser and uh, the person who is calling them for help, and they take that, the children away from that, them and give it to the one who's the abuser. Um, now, again, not in every case. I'm sure there are, there are, we all know that there are some cases where women will go and use that as, as an excuse that, you know, the father's abusing the kids so they can get custody. We're not right. talking about that here. We're talking about documented cases where it's absolutely proven that, like this, in this case, two different doctors said the little girl had been raped. And, um, and, uh, so what, what happened was this is how Sheridan got, uh, in touch with, with, um, Nancy Schaefer.
uh, mm-hmm. Senator Nancy Schaefer and started mm-hmm. to get involved with her. And Nancy helped her out in her case, and then they became very close and shares and started working with her. And actually, uh, five days before Nancy Schaefer was found murdered, they had just finished a documentary. And the documentary was all about CPS and the theft of children, sex rings, uh, where they where they sold children into prostitution. They actually shipped children out of country to other uh, lands, uh-huh. uh, other nations, um, and, and sell these children to people. They actually sell children um, to pedophiles in other countries. Um, this is a a real problem in our country, and and I'll tell you, uh, I'm I'm just I'm. I'm getting into it now full steam ahead because I can't just turn my back on this. Uh, oh, you got an ally here, just so you know that. Well, uh, I you know something. God bless you for that because there are a lot of people that feel the same way. And um, I don't know if you've ever read the book, The Franklin Cover-Up. <clears throat> yeah, yes. But I would suggest for anyone who wants to know what's really going on in our society right now that, that the newspapers aren't talking about it, the politicians certainly aren't, won't talk about this, um, no one in government will talk about this. In fact, um, they, uh, I'm going to have a gentleman on my program tomorrow night that uh, did a movie, uh, a documentary, and he's coming through with a full-length documentary about children who die while in, the, in custody of CPS, how many children are, are murdered while in the custody of Child Protective Services. And uh, he was telling me about in New Jersey, like, for instance, New Jersey, New Jersey passed a law where, um, you know, instead of revealing more about what's going on with these children, they're passing laws that, that, that cover up what's going mm-hmm. on with these children. In other words, you can't go in and you can't find out where a child's been. There's no accountability. There's, these kids are well, just you know, missing. He was telling Dan, Dan, just to cut in, uh, you, can, you can link on my website, um, Dead Man Musings, there's a link there for the Franklin cover-up. Just to cut in here, you know, one of the things that uh, I have, you know, explained uh, through my website is, is that we're dealing with literally uh, a, a, an organization that uh, uh, these people are, are they're Satanists. I mean, they they worship Lucifer, and you know these perverted sex practices and this uh, the, these uh, wanton and senseless murders uh, and these uh, child sex rings. They all tie into you know this criminal organization that is at the very top of our society, and yes. they're one percent. Of the population, we're ninety nine percent of the population. We should be able to shut these people down, don't you think? Well, the problem is, you would think that we'd be able to, but the problem is, they hold the high ground as far mm-hmm. as as far as politically, uh, mm-hmm. as far as um, you know, law enforcement, or as far as running our country or running things. These mm-hmm. people are top CEO, CEOs. They're uh, top politicians, Republicans and Democrats. And then, don't kid yourself. A lot of these top Republican politicians are involved in this. Of course. And, um, they're, they're, just because everyone knows Barney Frank is, is, uh, a homosexual doesn't mean he's the only one that's, that's doing this. Okay? Right. Or, I'm not mm-hmm. saying that he is doing this, but, it, in other words, what I'm saying is, he wouldn't be the only one likely to do this. There are, <laughs> there are politicians that we'll, are. We'll give um, you a nice retraction on that one. He's not the, uh, we wouldn't, uh, <laughs> Don't, yeah. don't think just because he's gay, he's, he's the only per- person right. possible. Right, exactly. Right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that just because he's gay, he's not the one abusing, uh, sexually abusing young boys, okay? Yeah, we, don't know, we don't know what he's doing. But one thing I can tell you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that we have a program that works, and it's going on in Scotland right now. And that's with the Holly Greaves scandal. This is a little girl with Down syndrome that was uh, brutally raped by her father, her brother, and the sex ring. And uh, right. right now, this is turning, literally turning, into a whole scale revolution. And it started with this program and with uh, David David Ike's program. So there is hope, my friend. And yeah. uh, we'll talk more about that when we come back. You are listening to the Paul Drockton Radio Program, and uh, we've got Dan on the line with us from the Florida Constitution Party. And we are talking right now about uh, Senator Nancy Schaefer and. Uh, if you, for those of you who have not been following the story, uh, Senator Schaefer and her husband uh, basically were, uh, they were suicided. I mean, that's the best way to explain this. I, you know, I'm expressing my opinion here, and I'm going to tell you this looks like uh, this is a typical cover-up. Um, she was uh, 
state senator in Georgia, and what ended up happening is, is that uh, she was working on this documentary, correct, uh, Dan? That's correct. And what ended up happening is that now, uh, first she lo- it cost her her Senate seat, and yeah. we all know how easy it is to control elections with uh, this electronic voting. And uh, after uh, this uh, this election, she apparently just keep kept pursuing her course, and they killed her. Is what.